Okay, hi, I'm Juan Martinez, and today I'm gonna to show you how I made this adjustable panel holder that fits on uh, a different easel, and you can easily accommodate a number of different sizes here. Both of these top and bottom stays move, as you can see, and uh, they're, they're quite infinitely adjustable. Um, before you, I get into the sort of how-to part of the video, I just want to show you a couple of things that you might notice. One is that these uh, washers and nuts and wing nuts are on the front, whereas in the video they're on the back. And I, I actually changed this after I finished the video because I found a way uh, over the problems I felt I had with the other designs. So keep that in mind. It's still the same thing because what we're going to do is talk about how I constructed each of these stays and they're both identical. Um, what I did in the end was I put a larger nut that doesn't really, hope you can see that, a larger nut that really um, doesn't tighten at all, but it's just acting as a spacer. And then the wing nut will still squeeze correctly, and I talk about all of that. Hi, everybody. Today I'm going to explain how I made this panel holder. It, it fits on a larger easel, almost of any, any description, and it's got uh, two wooden stays made of plywood with some bolts. I'll talk about the materials in a moment. And it's adjustable to anywhere on the height of this piece, which is, in this case, it's 19 inches tall and 16 inch inches wide. Um, it's pretty arbitrary. I just happened to have a piece that that would accommodate. And I didn't think I'd need anything larger because the point of this is to be used for smaller uh, panels. And you can make those adjustments depending on the size of the panel. This can go up and down. Both uh, the top and bottom stays will move. And um, there you have it. So let's talk about this a little bit more in detail. Hi, here are the um, bits of hardware and wood that you're gonna need for this project. Uh, I'll talk more about it. I'll write down the dimensions and everything later, plus talk about it uh, talk about it um, later in the video. But uh, basically for the hardware, there's not much. You need four bolts. These uh, are two and a quarter. This one here is two and a half. It's just what I had lying around. Um, and they're quarter inch thick, and they're called lag bolts. Um, these are quarter inch wing nuts for them and for washers for the wing nuts as well. Over there, we have three quarter inch plywood uh, strips. These are good, good two side. Um, you don't wanna have to buy a sheet of plywood to be able to cut strips off of them unless, unless you're a woodworker and you have all of that stuff already kind of on, on hand. Uh, most of the time you can find scraps of different sizes of, of plywood and all kinds of things at a, at a decent lumber yard and they'll sell you those things. It, just getting them cut into strips is, is maybe the hard part. These are, th like I say, three quarter inch thick and they're about an inch and a quarter uh, high and I think that's a very good versatile size. And depending on how long they are, this one's pretty long, you can cut um, you know, both top and bottom pieces from one or you might need a couple of them. Uh, this is a piece of quarter inch plywood, so that's the only other size of wood that you really will need. Um, this is large enough here. This is large enough. It's about, a, I don't know, foot and a half by three feet or something like that. Two, two by three, maybe. Not quite. Um, anyway, it's big enough that I can cut the main, uh, cut a, a main panel to use as my backing board. Uh, and the strips that are going to match onto this, onto the other side. Uh, as I said, you might have a friend or you yourself uh, might be a woodworker, but if you know anybody who is, family member, whomever, they usually have things lying around that look a little bit like this. This is a pile of, of linear pieces that I've, that I've gathered from various other projects, and most people who do any kind of woodworking will have things like this in their shop. Uh, they're always coming in useful for something, and this would be a useful project, and you really don't need too much. 
So anyway, I put this uh, back up here for the time being. Um, hopefully this can still be seen easily. This is the uh, top stay that I took off of here. And I just wanted to show you how its components are put together. Um, uh, we have a three quarter inch piece of plywood. It has some, uh, um, I guess it's little strips of, of uh, cupboard liner, uh, drawer liner that um, is kind of that rubber stuff. I just glued it on there so it keeps the, keeps the panels from sliding around. You could also glue a piece of um, sandpaper on there if you like. Uh, three quarter inch good two side plywood, quarter inch good two side plywood, and these end pieces are also quarter inch, I'll talk about that in a moment, uh, good two side plywood. Uh, so this is the same stuff that I cut this from, so I cut them all from the same piece of quarter inch. Um, they are one inch deep, and uh, it could be one and a quarter, but uh, one inch is what I had and that works just fine. Like I say, they're not really holding a lot of weight. What is happening is this piece is loose um, and it gets squeezed onto these. This little one inch square piece of quarter inch uh, plywood is glued onto this one. So these two are uh, integral and attached to one another and this is the one that moves. So it, with, when, the, when the nut is, uh, is uh, tightened, this one squeezes down and it squeezes onto this uh, plywood that it's over top of. And the reason that it has enough power to hold it is because that center piece, I don't know if you can see it if I show it a little closer, that um, little block on the end is actually slightly thinner than that one. So the uh, quarter inch has a veneer ply on either side and then three plies in the middle. This one here, if you can see, it has the veneer on the bottom, but then it only has three plies and no veneer on the top. You can see, the, so what I did was I shaved off the veneer. I just sanded the veneer off of that one. And that's enough to allow this to squeeze sufficiently to hold another piece of three quarter inch. If all of these, or I'm sorry, of quarter inch plywood, if all of them were a quarter of an inch exactly, then this wouldn't really squeeze on it at all because it would stop at the quarter inch mark right there and it wouldn't have enough power to squeeze to the other one. And it really doesn't have to squeeze very hard, as I said earlier, I think, um, because uh, these things are not holding a lot of weight. Now, the other point I might make is that, is that the bolt um, could be the other way. It could have the, the head of the bolt on the back and then the wing nuts more accessible to you on the front. And that's the way I had it before, but I found one inconvenient thing about it and I'll just demonstrate. So I put this back on here and, oh, uh, before I do that, I should tell you how, how uh, this gap works, how the opening works. It's an eighth of an inch wider than the size of this whole uh, sheet here. So this is 16 inches wide, so this is 16 and an eighth. And that gives me enough room on either side, like a 16th, to, to be able to wiggle this around uh, easily and slide it, because if it was too tight, and in fact, it might even be slightly more than a 16th of an inch. It might be um, like a total of 3 16ths, uh, because, uh, it would just jam all the time, and that's, that's as annoying as just about anything can be. So um, you need enough space there that you're not constantly jamming yourself moving up and down. So see, this is a little awkward with the, with the um, wing nut on the back. Not, not horribly, you're only gonna do this about once every painting, um, every time you switch a panel, but that's, so that's not the end of the world. But uh, still, it is a bit awkward. However, I felt uh, it was worth it because I'll put the uh, painting back up here. If you have a painting like this one, I have it on a panel, you see that's a three quarter inch uh, frame on the back or bracing, and it's a quarter inch panel. So the whole thing, I had this up here before, I haven't finished it, in fact, I started it again. Um, it actually uh, projects, I mean, tighten this up. It projects past uh, 
you can see from the shadow down here, hopefully you can see this, uh, projects past the uh, stays. And what I was finding is when I, when I tighten them up, the actual, uh, or the um, wing nut was, was running into this thing and, and the wing nut was hitting it and I couldn't tighten it. So that became more of a pain than I wanted it to be really. And, and uh, so I ended up moving them towards the back and, and it's not that inconvenient to have to reach behind it. It's, it's fine, especially if you're only going to do it the one time when this painting is up there. Um, it's not that bad. So, or when a thicker painting is up there. And, and re, like I say, you're only doing it uh, once per panel or so. Um, anyway, I hope that's uh, been helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, good luck with it. Maybe you'll come up with a better way than this and let me know. Thanks.